writing of the last album was a little bit complicated, I have to say, because it all happened underwater. The first step was to record everything, and then the second step was to clear every track of all the bubbles and blurbs that were on the recordings. I never felt so Album. It's called Full Screen and it comes out on the label Shit Catapult. actually in the mine. She was swimming along and uh, she came up to me and sang a song. Back in the days these were the channels directly to the riverside and the complete floor here was flooded. Uh, when I walked in there I saw some wicked light explosions in the end of the tunnel and one unique mermaid coming from the water side. I just thought like, hey, that would be a supermodel for a collaboration on a photo shoot and that's how we ended up in a special location here inside our old control room. And what about your daily diet? Like, what are you eating? Oh, you know, I mean, well, back when I was living in the ocean, then um, we were mostly feeding on seaweed and micro subspecies of seaweed. I mean, of course, plants only. There's a coat, I mean, as a mermaid. I mean, the last thing I would want to do is put a fish in my mouth, right? <laughs> Maybe we could like inspire people or help show them things that they already knew about but maybe weren't doing so that they could feel more positive and more good about, you know, like universal energy. when I would get massive heat flashes and I went to the doctor and they said oh well you know it may just be that time of life it may just be menopause and they had me on all sorts of pills and then I had to explain because they thought that I was human and then I mean after months months really of miscommunication they, they finally realized that I was a mermaid and um, you know I'd say I'm doing okay overall it's a You know, I must say that the photographers that we worked with and um, the costume designer, they, they really came through of um, delivering an alien sensuality.
side when I was still wearing my tail or in tail mode as we like to say uh, even when we were doing stage performances and I mean really what it came down to was a balance problem. <clears throat> a friend of mine who still lives in the ocean, she happened to know of a magical elixir. The thing is that when I take the elixir then I have human legs for approximately two hours which is really just enough time to do a sound check, go on stage and get it all over with.